Hi guys, and welcome back in a sheet metal workshop. And sometimes, well, sometimes it's one of the first times I just like to test something if it is possible. And that is what this video is about. I had some, I have here some piece of uh, stainless steel. It's 0 0.6 thickness of metal. And I just wanted to make it round and then make an edge to the inside and also double fold it. That is what is about this video. So I, I've done it. It's it's maybe not a hundred percent, but I, I was just curious if it is possible. And you know, it's just a, a test video. Sometimes I, I like to test and, and record it, and that is the purpose of this video. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started from the beginning. Okay. I have cut myself here a piece of metal, stainless steel, 0 0.6 millimeter thickness. And now I'm gonna make a punch in some holes in it. So it's one meter by 300, just for the test. Okay, now here's the hole puncher. You can make some holes in it. See, I have here some holes. And here I have some holes in it. For the screws, okay. So what I'm going to do next, I have here my uh, scratch template on five millimeters. So I'm gonna scratch here five millimeter. There is now a line here from five millimeter. Okay. So the next step is, I'm gonna fold this five millimeter 180 degree and then squeeze it. So first I'm gonna fold it five millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna put it here on zero six, zero firm. Thick thickness. Yeah, okay. So I have here now an edge of five millimeter. See, and now <coughs> I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna fold it and then squeeze it, but this machine isn't really strong to squeeze, so we're going to change machine to squeeze it. Now I'm here on the bigger machine, so this one is going to squeeze it very well. So now I've squeezed the material. It's maybe mm, hard to see, but it's squeezed. Okay, I'm gonna show it like this here now. So you can. See here, it's been squeezed, folded. Okay, now I'm gonna bend that edge another time for a 90 degree. Okay, we are now back on the other folding machine. And now we're going to fold these five millimeter 90 degree. Okay. 
So now we have here a double folded angle, 90 degree. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, but it is, okay. It's five millimeters. Now the next step is we're going to the rounding machine. And we have now here this metal, you know, with this five millimeter edge. And now we're going this, trying to round it. And we put this edge on this side of the upper wheel from the rounding machine and we're going out to try to round it see oh you have to keep direction Okay, now we have here a circle, you see, with this edge inside, rounded. That's it. Okay, so it's very easy. This is stainless steel. Uh, so it's not exactly a hundred degree, uh, 90 degree, I'm sorry. It's not exactly maybe a 90 degree, but that's the next thing. The next step, what we could do is put in maybe some template in it and then uh, going through the machine. That will be the next step. But this is the way we have an edge on the inside. You see, it's double, so it's not here sharp. You cannot, uh, no, it's not sharp, and it's round, see? So, yeah, so if you're not sure, if it isn't round enough, you can do it also for a second time. And there it is, almost round. Well, that's the way it should uh, work. Now we go on the next step. So now I'm going to connect this piece with screws. Normally I, uh, I had here to cut out the overlap, so that's also what we're going to do. Yeah, so we're going to here, I'm gonna mark this, this part. Here I'm going to mark, and I'm gonna cut out that part piece, or also the other side, yeah, okay. It's sometimes good to put some oil on it. Okay, so far so good. So you can see this is here 
pretty round and only here we have a little bit because of the seam but that will also come at the end it will be a perfect circle so here now i have put the upper wheel i didn't put anything here so now i can move here and i have uh, the down wheel the under wheel is with a flat swage and the upper wheel is a normal swage wheel and i put out here there's a ring here and i put it out and now i can put here this wheel until the end so now i have here room for squeezing something so that's the next step this is the setup i'm going to use now the next thing what i'm going to do is I'm going to put this edge here behind. I'm going to put this wheel, the upper wheel down and then move it to the front and then fix it. Now the next thing is I'm going to slide it around and pull it in the rounding direction. No, wait a minute. So it must be really tight. Wait a minute. I'm gonna tighten it more. Okay, well, this is the result. That's the way I do it on this machine with Schwartmans. This is stainless steel 0 0.6 millimeter. So every other material with this thickness would normally go easier. Eh? Okay, well, that is what I wanted to show in this video. See? Now the second one to get it more round is to put in two flat wheels, see? Just two flat wheels and then here where the seam is, squeeze it a little bit down. And then we have it. So this is it. This is now the end result I've done. I mean, okay, there's a seam here, but it's still, I mean, it's still a circle, see? Okay, well, that's it. That is a test video I wanted to show. Some things I didn't knew it was possible, but now I know it is so at the end what i use i change the wheels in two flat wheels and then put them together i think that is the better way to do it as any other option okay now i'm going to see how much here oh this thickness is oh wait a minute it's about well almost seven eight millimeter it goes in See, seven, eight millimeter goes in. So I'm going to show it here from the inside. So this is double folded and then an edge to the in. It's like a crimp, but it isn't a crimp. So you cannot uh, cut yourself on the edge. Eh? I don't know if that is the meaning, but okay. It was just a test, you know, you never know. Like something, I like to do some test videos. Okay guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.